I'm known as the butt lady of Auburn. Well, this is my exercise. Sally Dolly got inspired while out on a stroll. I got tired of going on my walks and seeing cigarette butts everywhere in the streets, on the sidewalks. On October 1st, 2014, Sally grabbed her dustpan and broom and hit the streets. Sally is, is our Auburn treasure. She picks up these butts. If she saw this right now, she would go crazy. 10. The retired school bus driver never thought she'd be spending her golden years picking up smelly cigarette butts, sometimes for six or seven hours a day. 22. She keeps a detailed record of not only how many butts she's picked up, 61. but where they came from. She's personally picked up 1,392,000 cigarette butts all across town. I love having people like that in my town because it really bums me out when I see people litter, and I love this town and I like to keep it clean. Seven. Sally's goal is much bigger than cleaning up the town. She says no one, including animals, should have to pay the price of irresponsible cigarette smokers. Cigarette butts are poison. And so I've lost count of how many birds I've chased away. They'll either eat them or put them in their nest. And if they put them in their nest, then they're gonna be poisoning the kids as they hatch. She says dogs eat them too and isn't afraid to call out smokers who toss their butts out on the streets and sidewalks. L-U-I-I-I-D-A-S-S -S syndrome. Lazy, uncaring, inconsiderate, idiotic, dumb ass, stupid smoker syndrome. People in town love their ambassador of a cigarette butt-free Auburn. I see her around here sometimes and I tell her thank you and I just appreciate her help. Sally says she'll continue to do the work. But people shouldn't be leaving their butts out in public.